Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have had a bit of a market drop off, but now we are on the other side and as expected with the early access, the FIFA points pre-orders, the 4,600 FIFA points being released into this game, we are seeing the market start to rise. This is something we talked about a little bit a couple nights ago is the market being dropped off and then coming back, especially on the higher tier once we saw these FIFA points hit the game. And we've only seen, we've seen most of the world get their FIFA points. Right now, I'm in the U.S. It's about 15 minutes until I will get my FIFA points midnight heading into Monday. So I'm not going to open them just yet. But I know basically after I get my FIFA points, most of the entire world will have gotten theirs. And that will mean that these FIFA points are going to be opened over the next few hours, over the next day. And we're going to continue to see the same market movements that we have seen over the past few hours since the U.K. got their FIFA points. So again, those FIFA points were huge. We saw a lot of supply come in the market and I see a lot of cards rising right now on this game as well. And I want to talk you through those things. First, what we're going to do though, is take a look at a couple graphs because yes, a lot of these cards were really, really low on Sunday, late, late, or actually early Sunday with squad battle rewards dropping at like 8 a.m. UK time, 3 a.m. USA time you can see that a lot of cards when we look at a lot of these graphs I'm gonna look at Erling Holland and Raheem Sterling right now is that Sunday early morning was a low time for basically all of these cards Sterling was down at 51,000 coins he is now at 70k Erling Holland was down at 78,000 coins on the PlayStation he is now almost a hundred thousand coins and if we take a look through a lot of these higher rated players a lot of their graphs were really, really low on that Sunday morning time frame where I think where we had was the intersection of a little bit of supply coming onto the market as well as you had people that were um, like selling all the stuff that they were worried about crashing when these packs and when these FIFA points got opened up. Now, Raheem Sterling is 70,000 coins. I actually bought him this morning at 52 or 51,000 coins. I made a bunch of buys that I'm looking to sell as stuff continues to go up on the market. Again, I got this Sterling at 53,000 coins. He is now 70K. I got a bunch of Timo Werners in the high 30s, right? I got some position change ones. That should help out. I got a Bruno Fernandez at 150. That was decent. Got a couple Phil Foden's. Uh, I got an Usman Dembele actually at 50,000 coins. His card is, is right now like 70,000 coins as well. So if you were able to buy some cards in that low time frame, in that dip, if you will, then you're making some big money. I do think though that some of these cards will actually continue to go higher. I don't think that it's quite done yet because what you're going to have today, and this is what I want to talk about a little bit, through the day today on Monday, you're going to have people still opening FIFA points, still getting coins, and having no time limit to grinding the game. They're going to be able to play games, go get coins from matches, go do SBCs. You're going to see the SBC solution trading be another great place to be trading and, and uh, flipping cards again today as more new players get on the game and go do the advanced SBCs, hybrid leagues, hybrid nations. League and Nation hybrid SBCs. So that is something I think you'll continue to see into today. And with this market, you know, getting more coins and as more people open up their FIFA points, I think we are at a stage now where you don't have to be as worried about seeing prices going down. We are kind of on the up and up, right? Because people are opening these FIFA points and they're packing a lot of the lower tier cards, right? We're seeing cards get packed, but again, people are putting those coins that they get and buying higher tier players for their team, like the Sterling, like the Lukaku, like the Marquinhos that we looked at, like the Holland, and that is what is happening on this market. It is basically going down exactly as we thought that it would. Now, I want to show you the other end of this as well, because we were worried about those low-rated cards that were, you know, meta, but they were also... We were worried about their supply, right? Take a look at Joao Felix. He had already dropped off a lot from Saturday into Sunday. He was going from about 4.2K all the way down to about 3,000 coins. But as you can see, as the UK, as the UK, the main player base of this game, or the EU specifically, got their FIFA points at midnight, take a look at all of the supply that have that has come in on this lower tier card of Joao Felix. He has dropped from three and a half thousand coins down to two K in a matter of just about an hour or so. And I think for these lower tier cards, 
they're going to continue to drop a little bit. Now, the supply is going to dry up today. People are going to open their FIFA points, and it's going to be done, right? They're going to run out of FIFA points at some point if they're opening all of the packs that are available right now. So that the supply is going to dry up a little bit for these low-tier cards, so they could bounce back up a bit. But, you know, keep an eye on these because their prices have dropped off a ton. Pepe, 2.3K. This guy was 9,000 coins just a couple days ago, 5K, 5.5K on Saturday, and right now he has dropped off from 4K to 2.3. His price has literally dropped in half since all the 4,600 FIFA points came out to people's accounts. So it was the tale of two stories, and it is continuing to be the tale of two stories. Into the day today on Monday, what I really think you're going to see is more of these meta, high-tier, popular players are probably going to continue to rise up a little bit. People are going to continue to get coins. Vinicius, you can see 176K, he is going up. Joe Gomez is up. Rashford is up a little bit. Um, let's see, what are some other cards that are... Goretzka, 204,000 coins. Kevin De Bruyne had a massive massive rise from yesterday he was like 160,000 coins and is back up now to 190 so what i really think you're going to see today is some of these high tier cards specifically the higher rated ones like we thought were going to rise in the first place just kind of continue to trickle up in price as people get these coins and in all reality these cards are still very very cheap for what they were last year now this is a very different game this year and i don't think we're going to see prices get as high as they were last year it's just a very different game with the, the supply the preview packs and the pack odds that they have put out in this game being very very high than higher than normal um i don't think you're going to see some of those players go to like de bruyne being i don't know what he was last year but like 350k i don't i don't think he's going to go there but again, you're, you're seeing some nice rises already, like we pointed out, especially on a guy like Lukaku, who is gaining a lot of traction as a hyped-up striker in this game. 48,000 coins Sunday morning and is now 63,000 coins. Now, he was 60... I think he, he did hit a peak of like 66K. So other things that you could see when these cards are moving up... You might see an hour or two of supply where sometimes they, they might dip down in price for an hour or two. And now if I saw this Lukaku get back to 60,000 coins, he was just 66K. So I might get interested, right? Let me search up Lukaku right quick and search up this card and see if he actually is 63K, which he is. So what I might do here is and say, okay, Lukaku was almost up to 66K. Right now, there's a couple listed up, and you can see some of the supply coming in, 61,000 coins, a very hyped-up card, a card that a lot of people are wanting to use in this game because he is meta, he is overpowered, and with the heading and with you know just players that need that require high finishing to score goals in this game, this card is really good, and he's hyped up. So I'm going to watch this card because I think he can go back up in price. If I can get a couple other sales on my transfer list, maybe pick one of these up, and maybe he can continue going higher into the day today on Monday. But that's what I would be watching out for. I would be watching out for some of these cards this morning, heading into the day, getting a little bit of supply and their prices may be fluctuating down just a little bit. Like this De Bruyne card, right? We see he, he went to 185 earlier in the day yesterday on Sunday, dipped back down to 165, and then is now going back up in his 190 plus. So that would be one thing that I'd be watching out for today. Um, and just watching out for supply on some of the lower, lower rated cards that are still very, very popular. Alan St. Maxman, I believe, is like 20, 27,000 coins at the moment as a 79 rated card. Yes, he is getting packed a lot, but there's still so much demand for this card that it's actually holding his price up still a decent amount, which is very impressive, to be honest, that St. Maxman has this much demand. So that is one thing that is also very interesting about this is that some of these lower tier cards are still holding up a little bit, but I don't think they're gonna hold up for terribly long. I do think they will start to drop off at some point, but that's the story, right? The story is the market on the high tier meta, which is exactly what we expected, is rising. A lot of the lower tier cards are dropping off big time. Now, I want to talk a little bit about content today as well. Um, and just before we go into that too, I want to show you one more graph on Footbin that just illustri illustrates what is going on in this game and what happened with the FIFA point supply. This is the index 100. This shows you basically... If we, if we put down on this page, the index 100 tracks the prices of 100 normal players, 83 gold, 16 silver, and one bronze player. So it gives us kind of a barometer for gold cards on the market with some silvers and bronzes thrown in there. 
Um, and of course, right now with a lot of just base cards in the game, this is a great graph to use, just get an overall sense of what the market did. You can see right here when the EU got their FIFA points, when uh, the EU was getting their FIFA points, when the clock turned midnight, people were downloading the game, or if they had the game already downloaded, getting those FIFA points and opening them up. You saw all this big time, big time amounts of supply, and also you saw the number of listings on the market go up as well. I'm gonna talk about that um, in a second, but you saw this big time supply come in, then you've seen a little bit of a rebound since. We might see another small dip heading into this morning again as more people waking up in the EU if they didn't st stay up until midnight. Um, and then, of course, everybody else throughout the rest of the world getting on, maybe opening up their FIFA points, um, not right away, of course, as the clock turned midnight. I think you might see a little bit of a dip, but then after that, a lot of this stuff, I really do think, is going to continue to go higher and to go up in price. So that's going to be very interesting to watch out for. But again, today on Monday, we actually might have some content, right? And this is another thing I wanted to talk about today is early access content. This is probably going to be kicking off today. I don't know if we're going to see all of these things uh, released. The untradeable 80 to 84 player pick, 10 game loan team of the week player, and then the limited time early access live foot friendly. Now there's already been a new beginnings foot friendly that is released. I don't know if this early access one is out or yet, but I think what most people are interested in is this untradeable 80 to 84 plus player pick. I would be, you know, thinking that this could come today on Monday as it is the start of early access. We will see if that is something that gets dropped as well. So it's a big, big day, big, big time for the market with all this stuff going on. Of course, if you did buy some stuff yesterday, I do think that you're in the money. I'm going to be holding on to a lot of the stuff that I bought. As you saw on my transfer list, I bought the Lewandowski, Sané, Werner, Bruno Fernandez, stuff like that. I'm going to be holding on to most of this stuff probably to try to see a little bit of a further rise into the day um, today on Monday. Now, if, if some cards, like I'm talking about this Sterling right now, and I'm noticing that this Sterling has really, really rocketed up in price. If I, if I think that a card has risen too much too fast, I, I could be inclined to take the cash on a card like that. Sterling is one for me who I feel like, again, as you can see here on the market, a lot of first owner tradable, right? So these cards are still getting supplied from FIFA points. They're still getting packed. You know, I might take the cash on Sterling. I've seen him hit 70,000 coins now. I'm getting kind of close there to being like, okay, that's a really good return on my investment for just holding for one day, going from 51K to 70. So I might end up taking some cash there. Also with Usman Dembele going from 50,000 coins up to about 65K. You know, I'm, I'm like, all right, that's a really, really good return on my investment. Um, so I might try to get that card um, out and just take my coins on something like that. Somebody like Bruno Fernandez, who I bought at 150K with a good chemistry style, because since I got the Hunter chemistry style on that card as well, I really feel like this Bruno card could potentially get close to like 190 to 200,000 coins, kind of where a KDB is right now. I think KDB is going to continue to go up. So, you know, if I see this Bruno dip back to 150 and if I can make some other sales, I might get interested in buying this card, you know? So just watch out for some prices like that Lukaku that we pointed out. Some of these other meta popular players on the game that maybe have some prices that will dip back down a bit with some supply as we start into the day today on Monday as people are opening their FIFA points and stuff like that. I do think there could be another window of opportunity where you might be able to buy in as stuff continues to go higher because again we have a lot of demand for people that are starting to play games build teams no time limit right so some people were on ea play or some people were, were just on <clears throat> just on the web app uh, or the companion app and now they're going to have the ability to have all of the gameplay time that they want also i would look out for icons big time icons are going to be a great 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 place to trade because people have coins again man people have coins and they have games that they want to play and use cards and try out items on this market so i would really watch out for some of these icon cards like this owen here 390 that's kind of a big undercut um for what it shows on the market right now i'm actually going to check out this owen price uh on footbin because michael owen's 88 I bought him for 350k earlier. Do we have some sales at like 450 or something? Because uh, we have a sale at 460, 435, and the next cheapest price was what 450? 
450 I need to sell it at like four you know what I'm gonna go for this man I don't have enough coins what am I saying I can't even do it but trading with icons that would be something that I would look into um, in this market because you have a lot more coins coming on the game you have a lot of people that are going out and buying cards chemistry style trading as well you know there's some cards here on my transfer list like Phil Foden you see with the chemistry style on there Lewandowski with the chemistry style Spinozola doesn't have a chem style but I would look to chemistry style trade with players because when people are building squads when people are building teams in this game they will go out and they will pay extra to get those cards that have the chemistry styles that they want, the position changes that they want. So be on the lookout for that sort of stuff as well. That'd be a big tip that I would give you as well is to check out cards and be chemistry style trading. What we talked about in yesterday's video, trading with cards, with chemistry styles and how, how they can be worth more because of those chemistry styles or position changes applied to them so if you feel like you missed the boat on a couple cards there might be a couple other opportunities today to get in on some of the stuff that has already started to rise but also i think that you know um if you if you missed the boat as well we're, we're not far away from what is going to be the full game release on october 1st and there's probably going to be another influx of fiva points there i'm watching this erlen holland right now too actually ninety one thousand coins he's going over 100 today in my opinion as a very popular card in this game. If I see an undercut at like 90K, I might have to snag that because I think that's gonna go up later on even today as a part of this Monday market rise because we definitely have a rising market right now with increased demand and people having a lot more coins for building teams on this higher tier meta of the market. So good luck with your 4,600 FIFA points. If you have not opened them yet, I'll be opening mine today on stream, link down below in the description and if you bought some cards just watch them rise right and if you haven't yet and you feel like you're a little behind again watch for some dips you might have an opportunity to get in get a couple cards that you may want for your team or to just buy for an investment so keep an eye out on the market those low tier cards again like i mentioned like even a lacroix or you know some of these cards like felix that have dropped off a bunch with a little bit more supply coming today what you could really watch out for is some of these cards getting packed a little bit more this morning on monday into the day and then after that potentially seeing a nice rise on some of them if they are still very very meta cards maybe like a liqua maybe a klosterman maybe even like a guy like sissoko who has dropped off a really decent amount or lucas mora as an 81 rated card who has dropped off so much but is a card that is so 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 popular for starter teams and for starter squads you might see some of these lower tier cards bounce back as we go later on as the supply stops but there's still demand so that'd be one thing to keep an eye out for as well also watch out for that new content related to the 80 to 84 maybe a new friendlies mode maybe some objectives to get grinding with at the start of the full game of fiva 22 being available for a lot of people uh, on this game so that's the video for today boys the market is rising i hope you guys are making some coins made some buys for your team and got some good prices as these cards started to go up i think they're going up further today the ones that went up something yesterday are going to continue going up so maybe some more potential buy opportunities out there as well and maybe get in on those and put them in your team and make some coins but that's the video for today boys again if you did enjoy it leave a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nate the foot account i will catch you guys later peace out